Well, hello there! Come on, get out of here! super excited today in the workshop. I have been waiting for this for, hmm, I'd like to say a long time, but it's really not even a long time in the scheme of things. When you're talking about custom work and fabrication, um, a lot of the time six months is, you know, short term. Uh, a lot of the times I'm, a year is totally acceptable. For this, I think this was like not even two months. Um, no, I think it was a month, six weeks. So, Addicted to Gear hangout channel on Sunday mornings. I'm usually uh, up early. I usually have my cup of coffee and I found that as a really cool hangout, like a place where people talk about stuff that I like to talk about and I know a little bit about. So in the, the chat hangout, I got to chatting with Charles 75N and saw some of the work that he had done um, doing fabric tops. Then I saw his fabric top for Ben Coombs. Ben, whoa. So um, yeah, after I saw that, I hit him up direct. It was like, dude, you know, um, I've got tools that you might not have at our shop at uh, the San Francisco Guitar Works and uh, Sonoma County Guitar Workshop and um, you know let's work a deal and I'll, I'll, I'll hook up a guitar for you and make it play great and you make me a fabric top so I sent him a body <clears throat> he made a video on that if I knew how to link um, stuff it would be linked below but, yeah. I don't know, I don't like anything. Please don't use any bubble wrap. But, you know, I'm just playing, dude. Dude hooks it up. It's like plenty of bubble wrap. Oh, I'm getting kind of stoked. Mm -hmm. Ask me about the scatting sometime. Bibbidi bop bo bo. But you gotta buy me a beer to get the whole story. Ooh, dude. I don't know. This isn't the squire I sent you, brah. Holy sh... Holy Toledo. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think we're done going with the uh, Sharpie Sharp knife. Because we're so close to the body now. Well, you know what? Rip it. Ooh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, man. You guys see that? It even says for Seth Presley. That's fantastic. Oh man, I'm about to get a little bit emotional with all y'all. I mean, you consider that what this, this, this body, there's like not really backstory other than the fact that he pulled it out and showed that it was just a completely beat butterscotch blonde um, telly, but it was just a shop. It was dead in the corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude, I see that. That'll, dude, I'm going to buff that in. We even have some, um, a little bit of like a blue pen. It's ding, 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 ding. Buff. I got a buffing wheel at the shop. Well, it's not mine. It's Jeff, the owner's, but yeah. Oh, my God. Sick. Yep, and I see what you mean about when you wrap in the bout, you have a tiny bit of texture where it folds in, but the um, the poly totally forgives it. 
I mean, you, you figure, like, what you're working with is a cloth top. There's some spots where it's going to have to come together. And we're going to do a, um, like, a Les Paul style jack on that. So that'll be perfect. Wow. Dude. Charles. I mean, this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, I think, I think. One of these is the neck, and I think he did me a headstock. Yeah! That's killer. Started with, this is the first time, you know, I had seen the work, but I, you know. God, now I would send him anybody. I would send him something that was, like, personal to me, like, if ever my number one strat like took a gash that I couldn't live with, I would send it to him and it would be rescued and like reborn. I actually have um, some fabric that's like from my, my uh, some shirts that my dad had. I've been thinking about maybe, I mean, what a cooler way to represent what he gave me by, by teaching guitar, by uh, playing something that he wore. Um, this is fantastic. I'm so appreciative. And uh, I can't wait to get this thing together. Start it out. As, uh, I'm very impressed and I appreciate this very much. And um, I look forward to more of the build coming very soon.